Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Isaac. Today we are jumping in to do a run I've been asked for a few different times. This is the Crimson Stick Dr. Fetus run and we've got an interesting thing to go along with this. We have the item Red from Something Wicked which adds an extra ultra secret room. Now I don't know if that'll apply on the first floor just because normally items like that don't. But from this floor onwards we will be able to um, get quite a lot of extra red room items, which is going to be really nice. But as you can see here, we have opened up a few red rooms. Of course, starting with Dr. Fetus is a pretty strong start, but it will definitely fall off. And one of the challenges of this run is going to be we literally cannot pick items up from anywhere else other than red rooms. Red rooms are the only way we can access items, whether that be us finding an item room, devil deal, or just the ultra secret room. This will be the only way in which we obtain uh, our items. Now, we are going to try and look for the ultra secret room first. I don't think I want to do much else before that, but then we can start exploring around. Now, I could full clear every single floor and get the red rooms going on every one of them. I'm not going to do that on every floor. I might do it on occasion, just but that could be leading to an incredibly, incredibly long run. So I don't think it's something that we want to do on every floor. But yeah, there you go. Found our ultra secret room straight away. That's good. So this is our first one. And yeah, we didn't get a second ultra secret room here, but we did manage to get ourselves marrow, which not a great item, mind you, not a great item, but we'll take it. And then yeah, we can start actually bombing around to see what else we can find. Um, apparently there is a red room up here. I've just missed it. Apparently, there you go. So yeah, we'll see what we can end up getting because there's some potentially good stuff, I and mean, we've got a cash room just here already, which is if we find an item in that cash room that counts. We unfortunately didn't. But I will allow myself to take stuff that I find in, like, cash rooms and stuff as well, as long as it's from a red room. Um, item room, we can't be taking anyways. Let's just see what we miss out on. It's a red item, <laughs> but it's not from a red room, sadly. So it does not count. Right, let's go and do our secret rooms and stuff first, then, shall we? And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll explore the first floor quite a bit and get ourselves some nice standing to begin with. Uh, and then on the future floors, so we'll just kind of assess it as we go. But we do get the secret rooms here, which is rather nice. We can, of course, take, um... Uh, sh should we take items from secret rooms? I feel like it depends. Probably, right? Ooh, now that's a really good item, but we can't take it. Holy card is rather nice. In fact, I'm just gonna do this. And, yeah, I'm not, I'm not able to take that. If it naturally spawns in there, then I'll take it. If it spawns from a chest, then I won't. That's, that's, that's how I'm gonna play this. Secret rooms are a special thing because you can get some really interesting items. But yeah, I think now we uh, we just try and find what we can find. So I think best case scenario really is if we just kind of bomb every wall and we enter a room. Four times the chance for champion enemies. That sounds like fun. <laughs> now that actually might be decent um, because we'll just... It'll make the game a bit harder, which is actually kind of good for this challenge. But also there might be some interesting stuff that we see along the way. So I'll take that. I'll take that. But yeah, being able to like immediately bomb things like we just did there basically reveals to us if we have like a good room. Like here we got a second secret room, like an extra second secret room. Interesting. Wasn't expecting this, but very happy with it. You can get a lot of money out of these. I will just wander around for a little bit grabbing all of these coins. I'm actually going to let that guy get blown up in the middle there. There you go. Why not let the coin blow up and give me some extra stuff there? Right, then we got um, this here, which is going to spawn us a bunch of hearts. Why not? We got this here, which is going to spawn us a bunch of keys. And then we got this that's going to give us the Midas effect on enemies and rocks and stuff. Okay, cool. Also, as well, we now have, like, guaranteed access to, um, the error rooms every floor, which is really nice. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Yeah, at the minute, I just want to be bombing every wall to try and find out everything I can about each floor. But this is potentially a really fun run. I'm, I'm liking the idea of it. I'm liking the idea of it. I can't remember who suggested it now, so I apologize, but whoever suggested it, thank you, because it's, it's an intriguing idea. It's definitely a bit of a crazy one. Oh, dude, I keep 
firing my bombs while walking backwards and you go like nowhere. So we found an error room, but we have found a shop that we can actually use, and we got George. Kind of a funny item to get that it basically opens red rooms for free for us. This we can take because we found it in a red room, so that's fine. And we've got to be a little careful here because we have found the uh, the edge of the map here, so we don't want to be going through there quite yet. Not quite yet at all. I do like having this Bernie along with us. As for the question of the day, though, what's like a system like this in other games that you really like? I think the Red Rooms are a really interesting system. Kind of like a, a hidden secret that can be expanded upon pretty heavily. What's some other games that have something like that? Where they have like a secret mechanic or something that's actually pretty deep. I feel like it's always interesting to hear about those. So we can go down here. So, obviously, we're not always going to get, like, great rooms. Uh, most of the time, it's just going to be combat rooms. But we're looking for devil deal rooms and the, and the sort. That would be really, really nice. Thank you, Bernie, for taking care of that. That'll be error room one. This will probably be error room below as well, right? No, it's not. Okay, we're still going down. We're still going down. Now, m floors that don't have mapping are going to be particularly difficult for us. Still going down. Wow, still going down. Okay. This is getting pretty wild now. It can't go down anymore, right? It's going down more. This floor's huge. Holy hell. I didn't realize how crazy this would be. Okay, we finally found it. The good thing is as well, we can actually bomb through the doors and just leave. We don't have to fight the combat every time. But I am going to in this case. Because it might be a bit of back and forth traveling. But yeah, this is going to be like a full clear for the first floor to see what we can get. And then on the other floors, it's primarily going to be looking for ultra secret rooms, I think. But we'll see what we can get. Yeah, in a room like this. Oh, we can't bomb straight out, apparently. I thought we could. I thought we could, but apparently we can't. That's going to kill one of them? Yeah, good, 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 good. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I walked right into that one, literally. Okay, so at the minute, I'm just kind of mapping around the entire edge. I do I do enjoy these, though. These are these are fun runs. They're just, just a little wacky, a little different. And honestly, Red Rooms, as I said, like, such an interesting concept to add to the game that I love... Anything that's going to allow me to further explore that concept. Sadly, though, just a lot of combat rooms so far. I'm hoping for more shops, considering I've got a lot of money to work with. That would be ideal. Be ideal if I could hit the enemy as well, wouldn't it? Oh, but yes, I have officially got all of my videos backlogged ready for my Greece holiday now. I'm just doing a few extras here and there, um, like this one, because I'm like, do you know what? I, it'd be nice to have an, an extra bit of backlog for when I get back from holiday, because um, the Diablo 4 DLC comes out, um, like, the day I get back. And it'd be really nice to just binge that and not have to worry about recording videos. So that's what I'm going to do. A lot of red enemies in here, actually. Right, we've got to be at the end now, right? Nope, we're still not at the end. Oh, look, Penny. So even in the combat rooms, we're still getting good stuff. I'm liking the challenge of adding all these extra champions as well. We'll keep her going. I was a bit scared then, because I saw the I am error guy, but then realized this isn't, a this isn't actually an error room. It's a fake out. We're still going? This is wild. We've got so much money already as well. Stay away from me. Your full damage hits are too much for my... My supple little body. <laughs> right. What the hell's that? Fire and explosion immunity for the current room. Oh, it's only for one room. That's not great. Okay, we are making our way around the edge. It's, it's kind of insane how big an entire floor is in terms of the amount of space that could be utilized and all these red rooms. It's, it's actually obscene. I, d I am curious how, like, the red rooms are, are sort of coded. It's very interesting. Analog stick. I will try and get that. Thank you. 
Analog sticks decent. The remote's not great. I will bomb it though, see if we just get it. We did get a glitched item here. Plus two heart containers. Um, Grant's lost cork. Oh my goodness, what on earth happened there? Oh, it's that weird glitch, isn't it, with my uh, my glitched items. Glitched items are really strange for me. They do some stuff they're not meant to. But, clearly, it helped us out. Got a good amount of stuff here. Pick them up and use them, please. Don't know why it's not using them. There you go. I'll leave that rock behind. So what, what's this going to do when I use it? It literally just farts and that's it. We have managed to gain a significant amount of health now. We did gain two broken hearts as well, apparently. Ooh, hello. That's a good item. I think I'll take that. Rerolls items into items from a random pool with a random cost. I think I can actually use that quite nicely if I come back through here. Grab this. Oh wait, no, this isn't the right card. That's not the one I was thinking. I thought that was spawned an item. Uh, I guess I'll use it on this and see. Um, no cost? Great. No cost is ideal. Alright, keep her going. We need something that's going to increase our bomb radius. That would be ideal. Don't know if we're going to be able to get that though. Move on through. Oh, dude, these pot dwellers are a little annoying. They didn't die. Oh, well, one of them didn't die, at least. Oh, my God, I'm getting too close to this. Fruity Plum, you're a nice little lad. You're cheeky. I'll keep you around for now. So we've had some good rooms so far, but I wouldn't say the best. Where'd my burn guy go, anyways? When did he die? Oh, my God, there's so much more to see on this first floor. So much more to see. Like, we've got all this inside bit to clear. This is why I said I'm not doing this every floor, because we would literally be here forever. What, what We've already spent 10 minutes on this first floor, over 10 minutes even. Ooh, I'm interested to see how this works. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I was hoping it'd, like, spawn an extra bomb when we fired that, but it doesn't. Another tinted rock there. Yeah, we are we are burn hearted up a little bit now. Prefer not to have spiders annoying me right now, but we can't be so lucky. Oop. I was supposed to have like lunch pretty soon after this, and I decided for recording this episode, and I'm like, damn, I'm not gonna be eating lunch for a while, am I? <laughs> I forgot how long this would take. I don't know, the fun runs though. They're interesting. Whoa, fruity plum just went absolutely sicker mode. What was that about? You can have one of my bombs, why not? We're getting all these extra tinted rocks and stuff as well, like... There's just so much to potentially gain for us here. Hey! There you go, I'll take that. Ooh, that's a very big ball of uh, flies there. Oh, what the hell? It just, like, instantly evaporated. Wasn't expecting that. Do you know, the double room rewards is gonna be kind of amazing for us here, especially if we can get more luck increases. hearts there. Lovely. Some extra money. We actually managed to spend all of our money on that glitched item, so I will take extra money. Okay, so I'm at a point now where I can't go any further that way, so I've got to go back around. There's so much space to fill still. But the good thing is about the other rooms is I don't have to complete them all, as in, like, I can check if they're in a special room or not, and then decide to bail, sort of thing. Okay, through here. I don't have to commit to, like, doing every single room, sort of thing. Come on, you. All oh, the bombs are bouncing directly off you. Bouncing off your noggin.
Because, yeah, now we're back to the regular map. We can just come back over here and fill out the uh, the remaining bits of the map that we need to fill out. And then we can start, like, actually bombing through. I mean, we might as well actually do our boss. We haven't done our boss yet. In fact, that's a very good room to use our uh, card on that, that last room there. Can't grab that. Yeah, let's just do that look. Queen of Diamonds. We're not going to be able to get them all, obviously, but we'll get a very good amount. Okay, back through this way. And we'll come and do some of these rooms up here. Obviously, doing the extra rooms, the combat rooms, is kind of nice. Because we will get a little bit of extra consumables. But honestly, I think we're reaching critical mass with that now. 23 keys, 21 bombs that we don't need. It's just like, we don't really need much more. Why is that still double locked right there? That's weird. Maybe if I complete the room, it'll open. Nope, it's still double locked. Weirdly enough. Right, this is everything. This is the entire outside. Fully, uh, fully committed to. Right, now the process is bombing everywhere in between. So if we go back over this way... Back to the edge. Then we can start bombing all of the in-between bits to see if there's any special rooms. So bomb there. So no special room. Of course, like I said, we kind of just do the rooms naturally, but realistically right now, our main goal is to look for special rooms and not do every little bit of combat. We're looking for the devil deals, the angel deals, the arcades, all that good stuff. We don't want to be Wasting too much time in regular combat rooms. I don't actually know, like, what the percentage chance of a red room being something else actually is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty down with this. Right, one. Don't do this to me, heart. Do you have to be a chasey heart? Do you have to be a chasey heart? Two. Three. Four, five, six. Beautiful stuff. I think considering we got here via a, error, uh, via a sacrifice room that we got from a red room, this is fine. Taking damage max, um, max source of damage with white cross of enemy. Uh, okay, we'll just take that. Something's interesting. We can quickly bomb you, take you out. You can see that our uh, duct fetus is still good, but not insane against bosses like this. And then we can do this. And we get Book of the Dead. I don't know why it's summoning stuff with no cost. <laughs> or pedestal. Bit weird, but I'll take it. Um, and we'll do one more. Unfortunately, not much from that. Right, let's keep going. That's one special room found. Our batting average isn't the greatest here. Oh, shop, 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 shop. There you go. Beautiful. And, ooh, it's a shop with a reroll machine as well. I'll take that. Um, I don't think there's much point in that, to be honest, because we're not really going to be going to those rooms. The compass is intriguing, at least. Don't care for that item, really. Don't care for that either. Come on. Give me something beautiful. Dreamcatcher? I also don't care for that. It's, it's okay, but it's not going to help that much, I don't think. This little fella, though. We like him. Right, then we just bomb this one more time and see what we get. Dad's vinyl. Still don't really understand how that works. So I'm just going to say no to it for now. There's a cash room. I will pop in here and see if there's anything for us. Spike Collar. Razor Blade activates instead of taking damage. 1.2 damage for the current room. The first damage taken in a room will always be a full heart. Can't block damage from spikes. Seems interesting. Seems intriguing to me. Nothing. Can't believe we've got two special rooms back to back. It's unheard of. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of much at the moment. Ooh, another arcade. Lovely. Sadly, not the greatest of arcades, but a bomb beggar. A bomb beggar is worth doing business with because we do not need our bombs. And if you could pay out with a bomb upgrade, that would be really, really nice. There you go. Bomb summon a ring of blood. Um, blood explosion destroy projectiles and deal damage to enemies. So that won't be every single bomb we throw, but some of them when we throw them out, we'll do that. Which is pretty goddamn nice, I've got to say. How powerful can you get off of just the first floor? It does seem to be doing it every time, actually, which is surprising. Not too much yet. Should re-roll that if I get a battery charge at some point. Another cash room there. I'll enter that. I feel like cash rooms are worth a look. Ah, oh, dude, really? <laughs> I got baited there so hard. It's okay. I love just love the, the, the how satisfying the minimap looks right now. Okay, so we're pretty much done with going around the outside here. Then we've got to actually start going on the inside, which means we have to do some more rooms combat-wise. But I'm committed to completing this floor. At least one floor has to be fully committed to. Hey, we got a treasure room, baby! Oh my god. Okay, let's have a little look-see. I guess we go with the emoji glasses, but I don't know how that's going to go. Um, because that doesn't really... Oh, wait, no. Tears gain transparent, gain spectral and herming after seven frames. Okay, if that gives us herming bombs, then that's really good. I don't know if it will, though. Right. We we actually found an item room, surprisingly. I, it's kind of hard to tell right now if you gain herming or not. Right. Wait, I can't open up a red room there. Okay, no, I can. It's just wasn't quite close enough. Okay, keep going down this way because I can get multiple rooms from this path. Yeah, I can't tell if the Herming's working or not. I think Spectral works, though. Let me just try shooting this through over here. No, maybe it doesn't. Because that item was a bit of a dud, unfortunately. Our merging glasses might have been the one to take there. Dude, how dare you. Oh, we got another secret room. Lovely. I love the fact that you can get a secret room within there. Oh, wait. We missed out on one room over here. My bad. Let me just quickly do this one here. Because I didn't notice there was a room available for us there. But yeah, we got ourselves a nice little secret room here. Containing pretty much nothing, sadly. Hey, another arcade. We're getting a decent amount of arcades. I'm very much looking for um, a man in finance. No, I'm very much looking for bomb beggars, though. Although you... You could be intriguing to me. Unfortunately, you weren't very intriguing to me. Look up. I'm just looking for more HP now because I'm on the brink of death. There's plenty of HP about, I just can't really be bothered going getting it. Not much there. There is a bed over there, actually, I could just use to full heal. Got another sack room over here. Unfortunately, a second sack room doesn't do much for us. Right, crack that open. This has been pretty efficient, to be honest. But the, the ratio of special rooms is definitely pretty low. We're, we're, we're learning that. Definitely, we're learning that. I'm liking this blood explosion, by the way. This blood explosion is kind of amazing.
the coupon. This item's definitely bugged at the minute, but I'm, I'm just going to take it. <laughs> I'm just going to not complain about the fact that I'm getting freebie items on my rerolls. Ooh, a library. Hello, hello. I'm going to come back to you, library, when um, I've got enough charges to make you work. It's given that bomb such a massive radius. Red hearts there, lovely. And in here is a bed. We've already done crawl space this floor, so that doesn't actually matter, but... In here is a nice little bed for us to sleep in. Get us up to a nice bit of full HP again. And I'll come back over this way. So that I can play my, uh, my little beggar guy again. How will we sell on the first floor, honestly, though? This is going to be such a long run. <laughs> How is that not killing you? What? What the hell? Where's my beggar? I've lost him. Did I kill him? I thought he was in here. Oh, I think I killed him by accident. Damn it. Well, that didn't really go to plan. Either way, let's come along. Check out our library again. And we get ourselves that. Okay, some of the items are working, so I don't know why some of them do some of them do and some of them don't. Alright, there you go. Not much going on there. Not much going on there. We're, we're nearly done. We're nearly, nearly done. Let's come up through here first. Oh, you managed to escape your little confines pretty quickly. How, how are you not dead? Also, we have so many burn fragments right now. I'm not exactly sure where from either. Am I getting them from killing enemies? There's a chance that I am, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, dude, can the bomb stop bouncing off of the walls, please, when we're trying to open the walls? Double eternal heart, I'll take it. Double eternal action. It's so hard to place the bombs where I want them to be. Honestly, I might as well just use regular bombs in some situations so that it actually hits. Hey, another treasure room, baby. We got lawn darts this time. Beautiful lawn darts. Some little rats. Okay, we got nothing there. Much going on out this way. <laughs> the burn fragments just instantly killed that guy. Okay, we want to be this way. We've got another sack room over there. We're getting a lot of sack rooms. They must be fairly highly weighted in terms of special rooms to spawn. Oh, we got a mini boss here? Wasn't expecting that. And then down here. Oh, dude, the bounce. The bounce is too much. Last little segment. We managed to get a good amount out of this floor so far, I've got to say. A nice experiment. The amount of sack rooms, though, is a little egregious. I'd like a, a fairer balance of special rooms, please. Because we have had an insane amount of sack rooms. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got like six sack rooms, I think. Okay. We are done. That is the entire floor, baby. And we came out of it with... Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. We came out of it with a good amount of stuff. Less items than I would have hoped for, but not bad. Wait. 
Hold up. Wait, no. Are, are these different? Are these other sack rooms actually distinct? I mean, unfortunately, while we do have enough health across the entire floor, ain't no way I'm walking around every single one of those trying to get a 33% chance at an angel deal. That would just take forever. Wow, what a deal, baby, what a deal. Right, let's get going. We have, uh, we've done a lot on this floor, and we're good to go now. <laughs> okay, so now, now the next few floors, we're probably not gonna commit quite as hard to that. Oh, we, we get mapping for both of our ultra secret rooms with compass, apparently. Or is that from another item? I don't know. Either way, I'm down happy with it. So now we can just, like, beeline it straight to our ultras. Taken care of, my boy. In here, we've got um, explode enemy. Explosive enemies die on their own. Explosive enemies have less health. It's not great, but it's decent. Ooh, a luck upgrade. I missed that there. So that's an explosive enemy back there. Yeah, I've got too many burns for you to touch me, so. Like, I did die in a zone. He, he kept to his word, and he died in a zone. Yeah, we're definitely not going to see as many uh, as many red rooms as that first floor now, because I ain't, I ain't doing that every floor. We did get another sack room here, though. And piercing tears. Piercing, I don't even know how that'll work, but worth a try. What I will do, though, however, is another sack room. Wow. <laughs> Um, I will make an effort to bomb my way to, like, oh, dude, that's, that's kind of nice. I will make an effort to bomb my way to the bosses, um, in order to, like, travel there rather than going through regular rooms. Just so I can see more red rooms on the way to the boss, rather than it just being a straight shot sort of thing. Our bombs are pretty gnarly right now. They now do contact damage when they pass their enemies, which is really nice. Golden bombs. Thank you. Oh, we also did an error room on that last floor. Why didn't I error room? That was just foolish of me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Um, yeah. Now we can. Now we can wander off an error room. I just instantly hit myself with that there. Yeah, I kind of forgot about error rooming. There you go. Unfortunately, not a great error room to start us off, but hey ho. Spawns a glitched item. But we can immediately reroll into something else, unfortunately. It was not very good. Right, down to the next floor. Beautiful. Found an error room. Uh, it's ultra secret room straight away. Blood clot, not the best of the best, but certainly not awful. Excuse me. Another room there. I'm gonna take myself the long way around to get to the uh, boss fight in the other ultra secret room. Can we go over this way now? That we can. Dude, these bombs piercing and bleeding now is actually really nice. A really good addition. Okay, I'm gonna have to go up and around this. Red. Little red chest there. Try and pick up these red hearts when I can, because I'm getting a little bit low. Sacrificial blood, no thank you. Hey, lovely. 
Look at that, before they even explode, I've killed most of the things in the room. We have to go up and around the boss door. Key here is just having enough shot speed to make this work. Just seemingly going okay, actually. Getting some bomb immunity would be the next step. Ooh, crawl space. Lovely. I'll check it out. I think this counts as a red room item, right? Don't know the best way to do this. I'm just gonna go for it. Wait, how do I get back over? Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a red room item, I, uh, I would say, or, or like a red room found item. Just gotta get over to our other ultra secret room. I like the uh, item giving us two of them though. Two ultra secret rooms is very, very nice. That's probably pretty worthwhile to keep on hand. Sadly, no special rooms for us though yet. We did just get a second secret room though, but I think that's just the regular second secret room. By the looks of it. Oh, no, it wasn't. Damn you, game. But I will take and sausage. That just turned into a button. Damn it. I messed that up a little bit. I didn't realize that was going to be uh, error room, but we got a sausage out of it, so I don't mind too much. Okay, so it's just a basically respawning button that's going to cause us probably a whole host of issues. Probably don't want to be taking that. Pressing it very much. I reckon it can be good, but it scares me. I will come back when I can reroll you. Yeah, that button's going to be causing all sorts of problems for us. I can see it already. This bomb item was such a good one to get. There we go. We are through. Ooh, what a choice. What a choice. Unfortunately, neither of those were any good to us. How did I manage to blow up all of these guys apart from the ones with nickels in their eyes? Okay, I'm back into the regular rooms now. Is this a red room? Cool. Go back to the other ultra secret room here. Greed's butt. I would love to have you, but sadly you are not from a red room. You're from a regular room, therefore you are useless to me. Okay. Death cap, can't take it. What was this? Oh, this is my two of hearts, yeah. Thank you, George, for opening up this red room for me. I very much needed that. Uh, lily pads, come on. There you go. Slightly annoying there. There you go. The alternative way around. We don't care about the regular floor, basically, at all. Actually, I've, I've just realised I can't reroll the library, because that would be taking items from non-red room generated rooms. Wow, I'm getting some bad stuff right now. I'll take that, because why not? I can't even, like, defeating the boss is pointless, because I can't even grab boss items anyways. So I might as well just, like, find my items and take my leave. I 
We got a shop, lovely. And a sack room. Dude, the sack rooms. So many sack rooms. Okay, error room we have found. I'm just going to quickly do this so that I can reroll that one item. Boom, bow. Yes, please. That's very good. We are out of here. Crawl space again. Have we found a crawl space already this floor? No, we haven't, but it's not a good one. Shame. Right. Oh, that did take us out of the error room, though, surprisingly. It allowed us to escape. A crawl space in the error room is a way out. I'm guessing they did that on purpose, knowingly, right? Oh, we got a planetarium. Too bad, too bad. I'm gonna go in here, why not? I was hoping for some hearts here, but sadly, did not get so lucky with that. 25% chance to enter Berserk State when taking damage. Chance to um, erase enemies in that state is interesting. Holy damn. We're at 41 minutes into the recording. Oh, damn. We are smacking enemies about now. We're at 41 minutes into the recording and we're on like the third floor. <laughs> this is pretty wild. Can I get around there? Can I go through here then? There you go. I'm trying to get to my ultra secret room. That's all I want to do. I feel like that's absolutely fine for me to do. Oh, dude. I do keep hurting myself pretty often. Because of these goddamn bombs. Right. Red secret room. Like I gotta say, please be a bit better for me this time. That's that's decent. We've got some friends. We've got some friends. I can I can get get on with that. Wait, what? There's, a, there's clearly a door that's opened there, but there's no actual door. That was weird. We are off and away, baby. What an interesting way to play the game this is. Ooh, little mini boss fight. Why not? I've hurt myself again. How have I had so many bombs and not hit him? There you go. That took that took some doing. Oh, dude, a hot bombs is a great item for us to get. Thank you. That means our bombs do even more contact damage when they pass our enemies. Oh, we got another shop as well. I will take a false PhD. I don't think two of them really does anything for us. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. Stop bouncing. Just stick to the wall once you hit it. Yeah, our, our bombs are going to do crazy damage just by passing through enemies. Good, good. Back to the error room once again. And down we go, baby. Cool. This is a very intriguing run. <laughs> I'm liking it. We got this open for us literally straight away there. Interesting little scythe. On here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Demolished. Nope, can't take it. <gasps> We're doing regular rooms. What is this? I don't want to be here. Doing normal rooms. So I feel like some kind of peasant. Requires hearts, can reward pills, uh, beggar leaves by spawning cash room pool item. Hmm, kind of nice. Hope I'd be able to get some health out of these, but apparently not.
Yeah, I literally don't even need to blow up my bombs for them to be effective for us. And again, we are out of here. Like so many chests. We don't even. I was about to say we don't even have that much luck. We actually do have quite a lot more luck than I thought we did, to be honest. Dude, another shop. Lovely stuff. The shops keep rolling in for us, and I'm liking that. We're getting a half decent amount of them. And a reasonably regular income. Um, when you drop this trinket, it removes and stores all your coins. Nah, we don't want to mess around with that right now. Right, after this, I'm going to make myself a hearty Italian sandwich. And it's going to be joyous. Oh, so joyous. I seem to shoot a bit of an off angle now. Right, there you go. There's another red room. Definitely some more HP. No, thank you. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, apparently. Interesting little room here. See, this is a cool idea for a room in general, but it's even cooler when you have this curse mod on where the curses are based on the actual trap doors. Because now I have actual, there's an actual choice of whether I want a curse or not. <laughs> nice. It's actually a pretty good item for us to get there. Down we go. Oh shit, we didn't get the Polaroid on negative. My bad. Also a labyrinth floor. Every floor is a labyrinth floor for me. You've just lowered my amount of ultra secret rooms. That's all you've done. That's just not fair. That's just not okay. <laughs> oh, went straight in. Ooh, the plush plum. Yes, please. Right, you drop all the kids you want. They're getting destroyed. Right, other ultra secret room. Away. It's a little bit of a distance away, unfortunately. But, technically we can just bomb through doors if we want to. But also, to be fair, I don't think we need to. We're killing enemies pretty quick. The speed at which enemies are dying is not really a concern of ours right now. But I'm we've got all these extra spiders spawning now as well. Beautiful. And we have arrived. We need that goddamn bomb to bounce off every wall. Really, you had to be attached to a curse room. That's actually not bad considering we're getting hit so much, I'll be honest. And I'm not going to go back through the curse room, I'm going to go back out this way. If I can. Apparently I can't. Really? Dude, what the... It's glitching again. It says there's a door there and there, there isn't. I can't get a bomb to land in this hole because I've got, like, bad accuracy. There you go. It's straight bugging, yo. I think there's still some hands to land on us. Maybe? Hands? There you go. Right, back up directly towards the bosses here. Whoa, that button will look different. Sometimes I get those, those red buttons. That one would have had like a little face on it. Kind of weird how like spammy I'm being with the bombs and how seemingly safe they are. We got ourselves magic scab that we can't take, sadly. <laughs> Just covering the room in these explosions, it's beautiful. There's an eternal heart back there, should I grab that? 
If I can manage to keep it alive, that would be ideal. Okay. Grab that. I'll hopefully keep it alive, but absolutely no promises on that front. Oh, soul heart. See, that helps keep it alive now. I wouldn't say it's solidified, but it's as close as it can be. This time I'm actually doing the bosses. I'm not quite sure why. I just felt like it this time around. I guess I'd be forced to go down if I did it the other way though, wouldn't I, sir? It makes sense. An angel deal. Hazza, hazza. I'm, I'm leaving this. I can't take these items anyways. Right. Up we go. We don't have the Polaroids. This is just a fight to Isaac. I'll grab my ultra secret rooms and then we'll, uh, we'll make our way over towards him. You are dead. Plum's Manifesto. Sending near an enemy without damaging him for five seconds permanently charms it. That's pretty cool, but five seconds in Isaac is a long time. <laughs> Managed to craft a, a pretty good build here. Most of it carrying over from the first floor, to be honest. Like, most of our power was just from that first floor jaunt we did. Okay, we're nearly there. Little room, we're nearly there. It's weird, these, these bombs have, like, really big blast radiuses, but... Don't damage us super easily. Interesting one. I'll take that. Oh my god, all those bombs exploded at once, and I walked into the spikes. Doing it beautifully. Dude, I fire it right now is wild too. Oh my god, that fire it. That's insanity. I like it. I think it's because our, our uh, fire rate and damage rerolls every time we take damage with the item we just picked up. We took damage straight after, so we did this. Oh, dude, we just went up to 16 fire rate. Oh, wait, no, that's because we got our swingy. Okay, fair enough. Right, boss, you are... You are time to die. Let's not die, though, ourselves. We are kind of close. The contact damage is doing so much for us here. Like, obviously, the bomb damage is really huge anyways, but the contact damage is wild. The contact damage is kind of great. Right. Beautiful. You managed to get away. Good for you, sir. So much fire for you to stand in. But there you go. That's going to end off our run here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a weird and wacky one, but a fun little, a fun little run nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.